In this video, we're going to show you how to set up direct routing for Microsoft Teams. Direct routing is useful for enabling telephony inside of your Microsoft Teams environment. So the first step is to navigate to admin.microsoft.com and go to domain section. We're going to add a domain. And in our case, the demo domain is MST003. We're going to click use this domain. And Microsoft requires verification of this uh, domain. And we're going to use a TXT record. I went ahead and added these values to our domain register. And I'm going to click verify. The process usually takes a few minutes. And this has been completed. I'm going to skip adding additional values here. We don't need them. Click continue. And that's it. It's been set up. When you register a domain, you have to make sure that domain has been assigned to a user. Otherwise, Microsoft is not going to recognize that domain. So what we're going to do is we're going to navigate to active users. I'm going to navigate to one of the users. Click on manage username and email, and I'm going to change the primary email to the one that we set up and click done and click save. Now, this is just a temporary step that's needed to make sure that Microsoft recognizes this domain for the SBC. So I'm going to close this now. So now we can go to the Direct Routing tab in Microsoft Teams Admin under Voice Direct Routing, and I'm going to add an SBC. Now, for the name, I'm just going to put the name of the FQDN. Description, I can just add clerk for this. I'm going to add 5061 and I'm going to enable it and click Save. And that's it. The SBC has been added to our environment. Don't worry about the network effectiveness being zero. That's going to pick up to 100% once the SBC is fully up and running and receiving calls. So now what we're going to do is we're going to create a voice route and I'm going to click Add. I'm going to name it Clerk. I'm going to add an SBC, click Apply, click Add PSTN, click Clerk, Apply, and click Save. And the last step is to, to add the number pattern. The dial number pattern is important because it allows you to set permissions of whether your users can call international numbers or local base numbers. In our case, we're going to set this the following dial pattern. This dial pattern allows calling anywhere in the world. So we're going to click Save. The next step is to set the dial plan. So we're going to navigate to the dial plans, click Add, name it Clerk, and click Save. The next step is to navigate to the voice routing policies. Click on Add. We're going to name it Clerk. We're going to click Add PSTN, select Clerk, click Apply, and click Save. And your SBC setup has been completed. So now you just need to assign the phone numbers and the policies to your users. We navigate to Users, Manage Users. Let's click on the demo user that we have here. We're going to navigate to Policies, click Edit. We're going to choose Clerk for the dial plan. And for the voice routing policy, we're going to select Clerk, click Apply, and click Confirm. Now, if we go to the account, phone numbers, select Direct Routing, and the, put in the phone number that has been assigned to you from the carrier. In our case, it's, and we're going to put plus one as well. We don't need to email the user, click Apply, and click Wait. If you're not seeing the direct routing parameter, it means that the, the license type hasn't been set. So if we navigate back to the demo Michael user under Licenses, you need to make sure that Teams phone standard license has been applied. Keep in mind, it can take a few minutes for Microsoft to update the licensing once it's assigned. So once it's assigned, you should now be able to see the direct routing parameter here. The last step is to navigate to the account 
and we can flip back the domain to the original one. Click Save. And that's it. The number has been assigned and it's working through direct routing.